Uh, Roy Beck is the founder and CEO of Numbers USA. It's a grassroots organization dedicated to immigration reduction. Prior to joining um, the organization, Mr. Beck worked as a journalist for over 30 years. He's a recipient of numerous awards for reporting on religion and politics. He's a graduate of the University of Missouri School of uh, Journalism. Mr. Beck, glad to have you here, sir. Thank you very much. Well, I thank the committee for the opportunity for Numbers USA to testify about S424. The key issue uh, for us is that 424 creates a new unlimited category of immigration, but it does not include any offsets of reducing green cards and other categories. Numbers USA was founded as a nonprofit, nonpartisan organization in 1996 to carry out the immigration recommendations of two Clinton era national commissions. We now have 900,000 online activist members who support that mission. We believe that all immigration bills should be reviewed in light of the principles of those two commissions. First, President Clinton's Council on Sustainable Development recommended that annual green card numbers be cut low enough to allow for U.S. population stabilization. Environmental sustainability in this country was seen by the commission as impossible if Congress continued to force massive U.S. population growth through immigration. The second was the bipartisan U.S. Commission on Immigration Reform that was chaired by the late Barbara Jordan. It recommended deep cuts in immigration to remove the economic injustice that current immigration causes and imposes on the most vulnerable members of our community. These commissions recognized that our immigration policy has been assembled piecemeal without thought about how the total number of green cards affects the overall national community. Thus, a bill like S-424 will tend to be examined entirely outside its environmental consequences, even though we're in a time of grave environmental concerns. It will tend to be examined outside its economic impact despite our 9% unemployment rate. But nearly every adult who is permanently added to the U.S. population through immigration legislation would be a potential competitor to unemployed and underemployed American workers. Every new immigrant increases the total U.S. carbon footprint and ecological footprint. Every piece of our complex policy caters to a particular special interest. Now, special does not mean illegitimate. It just means it's special. It's not the national interest overall. But the combined effect of all of these pieces of, of, our, nation's, uh, uh, of our nation's immigration policy uh, have a profound consequence on the entire national community in terms of the public infrastructure deficit, economic disparities, and stewardship over our natural resources. I hope the Judiciary Committee will consider all those implications every time it looks at immigration legislation in the, in the Congress. I noted in my written testimony that in many ways immigration ought to come up before the environmental, energy, health services because it, it is the primary driver of population growth in this country which has profound effects on all of those committees' work. All of the long-term population growth in the United States since 1972 has been due to federal immigration policies. In 1972, Americans chose to reduce uh, their fertility rate to, uh, uh, to uh, below the replacement level of 2.1. It's been just below that ever since. Yet the 1990s saw the biggest population boom in our history, larger even than the 1950s baby boom. Uh, this decade is very similar. There's only one reason for this gigantic population boom uh, that defies all of the environmental hopes and dreams that were uh, uh, back in the 1960s and 70s when I first began reporting on the environmental movement, uh, and they are opposite the trends recommended by President Clinton's Sustainable Sustainability Commission. And that reason is that Congress has repeatedly overridden the American people's choice of a stabilizing future and instead forced massive population growth through increases in green cards. I'm not aware that Congress has ever stated that it wanted to increase the population. Uh, I'm not aware that Congress has ever said that the American people prefer to have an extra 130 million people that Census Bureau says that immigration will cause over the next uh, 50 years or 40 years. Um, but th this is the result of making decisions on green cards piecemeal instead of looking at the overall consequences and the overall numbers. Uh, until the first Earth Day in 1970, immigration averaged about 250,000 a year, and that was about what it was in the 50s and 60s. 
But a succession of immigration decisions by Congress have raised the 250,000 green cards to a million a year level by 1990, and it's been there ever since. In order to meet the Sustainability Commission's recommendations of moving toward a stabilized U.S. population, green card numbers would have to be cut back at least 75 percent. Like nearly all sustainability issues, the, the setting of green card numbers is not primarily for those of us who are living in the next decade. They are for our children and grandchildren later this century, and they are for the generations that will come in this, in this uh, uh, generations to come that will be in this country. Um, and I want to just finish then by saying that, in a nutshell, our concern about S-424 is that it represents another piecemeal congressional act that would increase the numbers of green cards each year with no regard for the resulting increase in population pressures. Without a reduction in immigration and population growth, it will be close to impossible to meet carbon goals, energy goals, infrastructure goals without a fundamental slashing of the American standard of living. If Congress would take a bill like S-424 and create offsets at the same time, our organization does not have a position on how these green cards are, are, are passed out. But we do believe that the, the direction of green cards must be moving toward the quarter million level from the million level. Thus, a, a bill such as 424 uh, that adds green cards should cut, I, we think, at least three green cards in other categories in order to move in the right direction. By adding green cards without reducing others, Passing S-424 would be irresponsible to the environment, to future generations, and to the most economically vulnerable members of our national community. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Beck. And, uh, Ms. Jess, incidentally, you, you talked about doing this in a comprehensive fashion. Did you support President Bush's comprehensive immigration plan? No. I mean, no, because it, it added lots of green cards. Okay. Um, I did support President Bush on that one. No. But didn't go anywhere. <laughs>